Hey, what's up everybody? It's Sam here with a live video and today I wanted to talk to you about how to build your startup team online, right? So everyone talks about how to build a startup, you know, in terms of the traditional businesses and I'm sure there's a ton of advice on, on how you can go about doing that uh, available online. But today I really wanted to focus on the online world seeing as that's the world that I'm a part of. It only makes sense, right? So today is absolutely a business video. There's no confusion as to whether it's a business or a development video. So I've actually got quite a bit of notes here that I, I've, I've got written, gotten written down that I just want to make sure that I cover, okay? And that's why I've got them down. So excuse me if I kind of glance back here, back and forth here and there. I just want to ensure that I honor your time, okay? Because I really do appreciate you watching this video. So the very first thing there, there are um, three things in particular that I want to cover, right? on how to actually build your startup team uh, online, sorry. And the, the very first topic that I wanted to talk about is how to do it, uh, how to build your startup team at home. And the very first tip that I would suggest to you is to talk to your partner. Now, it, this may not seem like a very big thing, like you're, you're thinking, yeah, of, of course they're gonna be on board because I mean, I'm building this for us, I'm building this for our future, right? I'm building something legit that's actually gonna be able to sustain us uh, financially into the future. After all, we, we all know how how unstable the workforce is these days, of course they're gonna understand. No, they won't. Because here's the thing, the traditional world and the online world are two completely different worlds, right? And especially in the way they operate and especially in the mentality behind it. The employee mentality is very, very simple. Find a job, do the job, get paid for it, you know? So you expect pay on a daily basis, weekly, fortnightly, monthly basis, whatever the cycle is for your job. When it comes to the online world thing, it's quite the opposite. It is more of a delayed gratification thing where you need to build and build and build. Now, you're not gonna get shit for probably three to six months unless you're following some online harassing, AKA prospecting 1K per day formula online, in which I'm gonna urge you not to do. But if you choose to do it, that's cool. If that works for your personality, I'm happy for you. But for me, I know that shit's not scalable and I sure as hell don't like uh, annoying people on a daily basis just to try and sell them some shit, okay? Now, I do believe in sales, okay? Don't get me wrong, please. For, for everybody out there who's on that 1K day uh, formula per day, that's cool. If that's what you wanna do, I'm just gonna leave it there, okay? But please don't bother me with it, all right? Save, save yourself and me some time. But here's what I'm gonna tell you. Talk to your partner and, and explain to them. Get real with them. Explain to them that you're passionate about this, that you're fully committed to this, that you don't just wanna spend money, you actually wanna get the work done, okay? If that's, a, if that's what you're really all about. Explain to them that it is going to take time because it will take time. Don't fall for this bullshit about, you know, in the next 30 days, you can click a few buttons and you're gonna start making 10 grand per month. It doesn't work that way. It does, it is a legitimate business. It's just based online instead of offline and it takes time to create. Traditional businesses take two years to actually break even and then they don't actually start making some money until through third or fourth year, okay? The online business is a little bit different. You can, you can make things a lot quicker depending on how much time, money and effort you want to invest, okay? But the simple fact is this, it's still a legit business. It still takes time to build. So talk to your partner, okay? The second point is, talk to your friends. Now, I'm not I'm not urging you to do this immediately. This is something I'd say take your time in doing because most friends, most family, they want to keep us where we are, okay? And it's it's not necessarily in a bad way. I don't mean that <clears throat> in a negative sense. I mean in the sense is that they care about you. They probably think that this online stuff is bullshit. They probably think it's a scam. They probably think that it's full of shit and that you're just wasting your time and money. But here's the thing, you and I both know that it's worth every single penny and effort, right? It's just whether or not we're actually willing to do the job consistently enough long term so we actually get the results yeah so talk to your friends in terms of uh, let them know that hey look you're, you're, you're working on something you're, you're working really hard you're really committed to it you don't necessarily have to tell them what you're doing all right you sure as hell don't need to invite them to come along come on board because straight away their, their bs meter is going to be up and they're going to be very defensive about it but instead just let them know you know let them know that hey you know i'm, I'm working i'm working hard on something and i'm working on something big because uh, i want to secure myself financially for the future for me and my family and my loved ones right i have dreams and goals and aspirations and desires that going out and drinking beer every saturday night ain't going to get it done okay you just need to let them know so that they, they don't all of a sudden start harassing you as to why you're not showing up every weekend and drinking with them anymore as to why you're not showing up to as many you know I don't know, sporting events as you possibly could is the case for me, right? I'd love to go seven you know, times per week, but time just doesn't allow for that to happen. And I'm cool with that sacrifice. Can you need to make sure that your friends understand that too. So the second thing I wanted to talk about, the second topic, that was only one, 
Okay, so this is going to be quite the video. I hope you got a cup of tea or a glass of water or something. The second one I want to talk about is how to build your startup team with your work. Now, I'm not talking about the job. Obviously, if you march into uh, into the boss's uh, office today and go, hey, you know what? I'm sorry, dude, but fuck this job. I really don't like it. So I'm just here to pay my bills. I'm actually focused on something a lot more important online at home. Okay. Obviously, that's a very, very stupid thing to do. So what I'm talking about is I said with your work, not at your work. Okay. So what I mean by that is you need to, you really need to kind of focus on a couple of things. Okay. The very first thing is which business you're going to get involved with online. There are so many opportunities. There is e-commerce, right? There's uh, personal branding, there's social media, there's video marketing. There are so many different routes in which you can go. And I would suggest focusing on something that builds around your natural strengths, something that perhaps maybe you're passionate about something that you feel that you can really sustain long term, right? There is a reason why uh, a lot of people say that you need, you need to focus on something that you truly love because it does take a lot of time and effort to build this. And when those, uh, when those difficult times come, you need a reason to be able to get up, right? So for me, even on my challenging days, I still blog. I still get on and do videos. I still write value posts. I still write my daily emails. Why? Because I love this shit, right? And I love where it's taking me. More importantly, the options it's going to bring in the future when I get when I get to the point that I want to get to or half a million dollars in three years time. So with you, with you guys, what I'm going to suggest is, <clears throat> sorry, the second thing I want to talk about is what I'd actually suggest. And it's, it's really what I just what I just mentioned to you before is you really want to focus on something that you're passionate about, something that really kind of gets you going. Because when you wake up in the morning, you need a reason to get out of bed. And if this business is, is what it actually is, if you wake up fired up, like, holy shit, I can't wait to wake up in the morning and start working on this thing. And that's what you need to be doing. Okay. The last thing you want is to get to a situation where you wake up and go, holy shit, I have to do this again. Right. See the difference in the tonality between the two. What the, what differentiates the two, even though it's the exact same sentence is the passion behind what's being said and how it's being said. Okay. And it's going to come through in what you're actually doing, how you write your blogs, how you write your emails, how you write your value posts, how you do your videos, right? Is going to determine, is going to be determined by the passion and the love that you have for what it is you actually do. All right. So the third and final thing that I wanted to talk to you about is how to build your startup team with partnerships. Okay. So the very first and most important thing I'm going to tell you straight up is that is the very first thing I spoke about on this video. And that is to get your partner, your other half, your evil genius on your side. They have to be 100% behind you. Without it, you're going to struggle irrespective of what you do. Okay. And honestly, like the number one reason, I don't know if you knew, but the number one reason for relationship breakups in the modern day is financial hardships. Okay. So, you know, you diving into something that is going to take away more time more money initially, right? You are going to get all of that time back tenfold, hundredfold, right? And you're definitely going to get all that money back hundred times, hundred times over again and again and again, right? But in the meantime, while you're building, like I said, it is going to take time. If you really commit yourself, you know, six to nine months minimum is what you're looking at. If to, to really build this thing up, you need your partner, you need your other half to be 100% behind you because there's those difficult times, you're going to need their comforting. Those times where the bills get tight and you're wondering, fuck, do I have the $30 to pay for my autoresponder? You guys need to find a way to get that shit done. All right, put the excuses aside and go understand that you're building towards something bigger than yourselves and your current situation and maybe even the luxuries that you have at that moment in time. Okay, that's the very first thing. The second thing is you need to find yourself a mentor. The difference between my success that I'm having now and what I was doing before, I spent years online, guys, and I never had, I only twice had a four figure day. I smashed that within the first three months of having a mentor, right? I hit those two days within the first three months of having a mentor. And the reason why is because you've got someone that you can bounce ideas off. You've got someone who's actually guiding you in a way, right? So in terms of your mentor, you want to find someone uh, that resonates with, with uh, your personality, with the business that you actually want to do, the success that they've had, the people that they are, you know, and you want to model what it is that they do and get them to advise you on how to go about doing this and how to go about doing that. All right. I hope that actually makes some sort of sense, but a mentor is huge to your success. Okay. Um, I love my mentor and it took me time to really, I took like, I think it was a year and a half, almost two years to actually pick my mentor after struggling for years online. Right. I did have some success. Don't get me wrong, but I never, never hit the success that I really wanted to hit. And I never really attained it until I got my mentor in place. So here's the thing. And here's a plug for me. If you feel like what I'm talking about makes sense, if you feel like I'm the kind of person you want to work with, 
then go ahead and comment on this video, okay? Because I would love to, to, to work with you. More importantly, privately inbox me, okay? So we can talk about your business and how we can go about building it to get you to that state that you actually want to get to, okay? The third thing, right? Part three, point three is accountability partner. Now, this may or may not be applicable to you, but most people don't have the self-discipline to get to where it is that they want to go with whatever it is that they want to do. You have to keep in mind that even the greatest athletes in the world that have ever lived have coaches, right? AKA mentors. They, they have their partners completely behind them saying, yep, go and work out, you know? Uh, go on or go away on your weekend tournaments or whatever the case may be. They have accountability partners and training partners in which they work with every single day. Now, I'm not saying that you, you and your accountability partner need to get together every single day. You can if you want to but you don't exactly need to. What I'm gonna say instead is you really want to create, uh, you wanna find an accountability partner using certain points, right? Now, I'll put a blog post here so that you guys can read. If you wanna read more details into this, I'll go further into it on the blog post, right? Where it's actually laid out. Whereas when, when I talk on the video, I kind of just talking based on the points that I have and what's coming to me at that particular moment in time. With your accountability, uh, accountability partner, you want to find someone who's just committed as you. You want to find someone who really wants to actually make this shit happen. You want to find someone who can set aside 20 to 60 minutes on a day-to-day -day basis, uh, sorry, on a week-to-week -week basis that you guys can touch, touch, uh, touch base. And point number four is you want to make sure that you guys actually put some sort of structure in place for the phone call. I've been on accountability calls before and it goes for an hour, an hour and a half. And when you hang up, you feel really good because it was a great conversation. And it's you're connecting with someone that is in line with what it is that you're actually doing, meaning they're actually, uh, say for example, like online businesses, finding someone who's actually into online business, which isn't every single person on the planet. Let's be honest right now anyways, we'll get there, right? But at this point in time, that's where we're at, okay? But you wanna find some, you wanna create a structure to a call. So when you go away from the call, you're like, shit, that was actually a really good idea. I wanna implement that. Or yeah, that was a great book that you recommended. I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy that book, right? Um, those are those are the most valuable accountabilities. So you want you want to talk about like your wins and losses for the week. You know, probably like the the, the biggest success that you had. Um, your you know the three things that failed and then what you learned from them. And then you want to let the other person talk, okay? And the reason you want to do that is again, you want to walk away from that call knowing that you actually got something of value that allows you also to be motivated to come to the next call. And you need to keep each other accountable. Don't just kind of pack each, pat each other on the back and go, hey, look, it's cool, man, you didn't get it done, but you know, next week, you know, is a better week and all that. So, nah, fuck that. Nail them, right? You didn't get this shit done. You said you would do it. Why didn't you do it? Put them on the spot get them to work because understand that you're investing your time and energy as well. Okay. So they need to be just as committed as you are. And yes, it's not an easy thing to do. I get it. All these things that I'm talking about here today, they're not easy to do, but they are worth every fucking minute that you put into it. Because once you get your team aligned, holy shit, it's like the heavens open and the work is so much easier. There is a lot of resistance in what we do because we don't quite know how to build your startup team with your online business, right? We don't know how to go about putting together the right pieces and putting them in the right place to actually make this shit happen. There is enough resistance in creating the routine. There is enough resistance in the fact that what we do is different from the everyday person. There is, uh, there is enough resistance in the challenges that come on a day-to-day -day basis of getting ourselves up and getting this shit done, right? The last thing we need is to not have a startup team that completely 100% has our back. So with that being said, this video was quite long. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, Go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you hated it, give me an angry emoji. I really don't give a fuck. Show me something that reflects how you truly feel. That's all I want. I want an authentic response that you actually got some sort of value out of this video. And if you have any questions whatsoever, you know, you already know, comment on the video and I will absolutely get back to you within 24 hours at the worst case scenario. And if you really want, if you really want to learn how to build your startup team, if you want to know how to implement this in your business, right? Whatever it is that you're doing, I don't really care inbox me we can chat about it more importantly when you want to take this seriously hit me up and i'll show you how you can start work with me for just a dollar all right so take care much love i'll see you all again in tomorrow's video peace